is forced to testify in another attempt to connect an indicted rapper to an alleged robbery more than a decade ago. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon is live outside the Fulton County Courthouse. And Rachel, you are learning more about the woman who returned to the stand today. Yeah, that witness yesterday saying loud and clear she's felt like she was being forced to be here. The state claiming her refusal to cooperate and refusal to show up earlier in the week, leading to her arrest. But for the second day, she showed up and took the stand. They were asking you questions about 2013, correct? In the YSL RICO trial, a witness whose identity is not being revealed in court returned to the stand Friday. She was asked about an alleged 2013 robbery. It's another crime prosecutors are trying to connect Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, to. I told you I wanted to speak with you about something that happened to you in 2013 that you told me I've blocked out that entire time in my life. Yes. Earlier in the day, she told defense attorneys she did not recall reporting an alleged robbery to police. Is it true that you told the police that they robbed you? on that day? No, sir. Friday was filled with testimony and time wasted. Promising the jury that we're going to start at a particular time and then us not being ready at that point. The judge sharing his frustration about having the jurors wait an extra hour after the lunch break for the prosecutors to hand over to the defense communication between members of their team and the witness. The judge reminding attorneys these delays should be avoided to push this trial along. And I hate to be that guy, but this is kind of where we are at this point in time. We we're supposed to call our jury back at 1.15. You all could have probably at least cut down some of this time by, by turning this stuff over this morning. Yeah, a very drawn out trial for sure so far. This trial, though, will be on a scheduled recess all next week for spring break. Testimony expected to continue in a little over a week on Monday, April 8th. Pre-live in downtown Atlanta, Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.